Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Stay with us and please subscribe my channel to get update news of Wicker show. It is uncertain whether Liam Hemsworth's interpretation of The Witcher would prevail in the rematch versus The Magician after Geralt was soundly crushed by Vildefortz in The Witcher Season 3. Vildefortz was working for the White Flame all along, according to The Witcher Season 3, Part 1, which prepared Thaned for the takeover in Part 2. Some of the strongest action scenes of the season were included in The Witcher Season 3, Episode 6, which focused on the mages' civil war. Included in this is the Geralt vs. Vilgefort's fight. The Witcher Season 3's ending sees Henry Cavill's Geralt recovering from the injuries he suffered during the duel. The fact that The Witcher Season 3, Episode 8 was Henry Cavill's final is bittersweet, as this version of the character will not get a rematch against Vildefortz. That said, Vildefortz's story in The Witcher is not over yet. Vildefortz is more powerful than Geralt, which becomes clear during their fight during The Witcher Season 3, Episode 6. That said, whether Vildefortz used any magic during his duel with The Witcher is an interesting question that does not have a definitive answer. The Witcher Season 3's Vildefortz vs. Geralt duel played out very similarly from Time of Contempt, during which Vildefortz easily beat The Witcher using nothing but a staff. Both in the show and the book, Vildefortz does not use any visible magic to fight Geralt. However, the White Wolf should be the better fighter, suggesting that magic could have been involved. One popular theory is that Vildefortz used magic to move faster during his first fight against Geralt, which is why he could block and counter all of the Witcher's moves. Either way, Geralt barely posed any threat to Vildefortz, who had the upper hand during their entire duel. Geralt had personal stakes during this fight. He wanted to save Ciri from Vildefortz, which only made the Witcher's defeat worse. Vildefortz could have killed Geralt after their duel, but chose to spare the Witcher's life as a twisted way to celebrate his victory. However, by letting Geralt live, Vildefortz set the stage for a rematch between the two of them. There will be another Geralt versus Vildefortz in The Witcher, although it will likely not happen in The Witcher Season 4. Going with the novel's chronology, The Witcher Season 4 should cover the events of Baptism of Fire and perhaps parts of the Tower of the Swallow. The Tower of the Swallow covers Yenfer's search for Vildefortz, which is something that may happen in The Witcher Season 4, based on how Season 3 ended. Vildefortz eventually captures and tortures Yennefer to try to discover Geralt and Ciri's location. This leads into The Lady of the Lake, the final of Andrzej Sapkowski's The Witcher novels. The Geralt vs. Vildefortz rematch happens in The Lady of the Lake. This time, Yennefer took part in the altercation. Regis was also involved, a character from The Witcher who has not yet been introduced. However, Geralt and Vilgefortz's duel was ultimately what decided the situation. Geralt used an illusion cast on Vildefortz to alter the direction of the battle and catch Vildefortz off guard after nearly losing yet another battle against the mage. Vildefortz was vanquished by Geralt by beheading the mage. As a result, the Witcher will exact revenge on Vildefortz whenever Geralt, played by Liam Hemsworth, encounters him again.